Hey guys, it's Nicole and I'm here with a guinea pig diet video. I'm pretty much just going to be going over the basics of a guinea pig's diet. So I'll be going over the three main components that are absolutely vital to a guinea pig's diet. So, um, Dexter just got his cage cleaned. He's eating some fresh hay over there. Hey Dexter. Hi buddy. Hey buddy. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> this is just like the no-brainer. Um, every pet needs this no matter what. So that is fresh water daily. And um, we have a glass bottle, a KT, a uh, KD bottle. <laughs> And it's a uh, it's glass and I noticed that it doesn't leak as much second main thing is uh, Timothy hay guinea pigs need a unlimited supply of Timothy hay and the type of Timothy hay that we use is oxbow um, it's the more expensive kind but um, people seem to think that it's the best way to go that it's one of the best brands and I really like it and all that. So this is, uh, we got like this giant bag, but we're almost out. So I'll have to go get some more, but, um, it is a little bit more pricey than other brands. KT is also a good brand of, uh, Timothy hay. And, um, you want to make sure that you get the Timothy hay when you're getting hay for your, uh, guinea pig. If you have a very, very young guinea pig or, you know, like only a couple weeks old or you have a pregnant female, they should be getting an unlimited supply of alfalfa hay. And we just made our own little hay rack. Definitely recommend going and getting a hay rack for your guinea pig's cage. Or you can just make your own out of grids if you have a CNC cage like I did. So yeah, that's okay. The next um, most important thing is... Sorry, I'm allergic to animals and it kind of sucks because I love animals and especially allergic to guinea pig hair so his hair is kind of getting in my face and making me itchy. Next big thing is a Timothy Hay based pellet and we use um, again Oxbow and this is for young guinea pigs. They have an older um, like an adult guinea pig version and then you know like a young guinea pig. Uh, pellet so uh, we have the young guinea pig because when we got Dexter he was about I would assume eight weeks old so we got a young guinea pig pellet and again oxbow pellets are a little bit more pricey than the regular brand of um, pellets but you also want to make sure that you're getting the Timothy Hay based pellets you're not getting um, any of those pellets that you'll see with all the colorful um, little things in the pellets when you're looking for a pellet for your guinea pig then you definitely want to avoid anything that's attractive and appealing to the human eye with all the colors and all the stuff in the pellets they just need a Timothy Hay based pellet and then seeds and guinea pigs uh, pellets don't get the stuff with the seeds in it. This is what we have. Oh, and on the back it has like a little uh, um, pyramid, like a food pyramid for what's in there. Always have fresh water available. Oh look, there you go. There's a guinea pig diet thing on the back of my pellet thing. 75% grass hay always available. 20% fortified food, 5% treats and greens. So that's good to know. The next really big thing is um, when you're feeding your guinea pig, because obviously the next component for their diet is vegetables. And um, one big thing to keep in mind with your guinea pig's diet and when you're looking for vegetables to feed your guinea pig is guinea pigs cannot... Hi, Dexter. What you doing over there, buddy? You making some noise? You hear all that. You smell all that vegetables, huh? You smell all the vegetables, huh, buddy? <laughs> like, quit talking about it and feed me. <laughs> He's a good guinea pig. Good, good guinea pig. Guinea pigs cannot provide, or they don't produce their own vitamin C, so that's our job is to produce the vitamin C for them. You can either get vitamin C drops that you put in their water, but um, I'm not sure. I, I am not too educated on that subject of area. All I know is that it's kind of controversial, like some people agree with it, some people don't, 
but um, I really don't have an opinion on it or um, have any knowledge to tell you whether it's a good or bad thing. But there are vitamin C drops you can put in your guinea pig's water. Um, also, um, you can get vegetables and fruits that produce uh, vitamin C to feed to your guinea pigs. You definitely want to have a variety for your different guinea pigs because uh, they're kind of like children in the way that they're not going to all like the same exact thing. So, um, the first thing that I have on my list is fresh grass. And yeah, I mean like the grass that you go pick out from your lawn. But the only thing is with that is you have to make sure that there are no chemicals in your grass, there are no fertilizer, no weed killer, anything like that because, you know, it could harm your guinea pig if you're feeding it to them. And make sure you wash it, it's freshly washed and, um, yeah, also make sure that your animals, like your dogs or something, aren't going out there and peeing on the lawn, you know, because you don't want to feed your guinea pig grass that was peed on. You can also feed them dandelions. That is a, a huge treat that all of my guinea pigs that I've ever had, I've owned nine guinea pigs now, um, all of my guinea pigs that I've owned have all loved dandelions, but same rules apply for the grass as with the dandelions. Uh, no chemicals, no weed killer, no pee, like all of the rules, same rules apply. Um, romaine lettuce, um, people will tell you that you're not supposed to feed your guinea pigs lettuce, but lettuce is perfectly fine in small quantities. Um, romaine lettuce is the type of lettuce that you're going to want to be feeding your guinea pig. Do not go for the iceberg lettuce because it has no nutritional value for guinea pigs. Green and red bell peppers. These are really good. I always make sure that I always have some on hand. This one's, you know, obviously been used, but these, the red bell peppers have a lot of vitamin C in them. Green bell peppers, I'm pretty sure, has vitamin C in them too, but red bell peppers, I think it has more vitamin C. So then, you know, green bell pepper. Cucumbers are also a good treat. Fruit, um, high in sugar naturally, so just be careful with the fruit items of what you feed your guinea pig. Carrots are good. Dexter doesn't seem to like carrots. I've had guinea pigs who like carrots. I've had guinea pigs who don't like carrots. Dexter just for some reason doesn't seem too interested in carrots. He just doesn't really care for carrots or cucumbers right now. He doesn't really care for either. This is what a carrot is if you were wondering. And the next thing on the list is kale. So we have this bag of baby kale. That's what kale looks like. So it's just like a leafy green. That's a huge thing for when you're feeding your guinea pigs vegetables. They like the leafy greens so don't be afraid to you know, stock up on some kale or some lettuce, and I also feed my guinea pigs cilantro, which they seem to like, so, um, yeah, cilantro, and also some parsley, which I don't have either of those on me, but, um, cilantro, parsley, um, oranges, um, definitely in treats because of the acid in them, and because of, uh, the fruit, you know, high in sugar, but oranges, you know, obviously have vitamin C in them, so I do sometimes give my guinea pigs, and I only have one guinea pig right now, but um, in the past, I used to give my guinea pigs oranges all the time for treats, so um, oranges, definitely a good treat. Apples and bananas. Dexter hasn't had any apples yet. I haven't tried giving him any apples, but he does like bananas, so those are also a nice treat. And um, that's all I have on my list for things to feed your guinea pigs for vegetables. Um, just for a side note before I end this video, um, no meats, no dairy, no seeds. Those are all things that are huge no-nos for your guinea pigs. They're herbivores, so definitely don't be trying to feed them any meats. Um, <clears throat> dairy, like cheese, um, anything like that, definitely not a good idea. Their digestive system can't really digest it, so it's definitely going to cause some problems. So, um, yep. But that's all I have, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and request videos. Also, go like my Facebook fan page, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. Bye!